Ultra Engine unlocks the full power of your GPU to deliver up to 10 times faster performance for your games. In this video, we're going to learn about the level design tools that come in the Ultra Engine editor. There are three main types of objects that we're going to be creating in the editor. The first are called brushes, and these are solid, convex objects. They're sometimes called constructive solid geometry or BSP brushes, and these are used to block out the walls and floors and ceilings of your level. Most of the time you're actually going to be using boxes with this, with this type of geometry, but you also have other objects available like cylinders and wedges. And you can use that to create just the basic shape of the level. Entities are basically a point in space, and so lights are a good example of that. I'm going to create this point light here. And there, the controls for them are just a little bit different. We can still drag it around and move it, but we don't really we don't resize these because they're just a point in space. The third type of object are 3D models loaded from a file. So this is made in a modeling program like 3D Studio Max or Blender. And to create these, in, place these in the level, we just click on it in the asset browser here and drag it over and place it wherever we want it to appear. Now we can move objects around by dragging on, clicking and dragging on them and moving them on the horizontal plane. Or if we're in the 2D viewport, we can move it along that viewport's plane. If we're in the 3D viewport and we want to move something up and down, then we just hold the Alt key on the keyboard, and now we can move up and down in that direction. Now we have several tools up here, up in the toolbar, that we can choose from. We already saw how the positioning tool works. If we select the rotation tool, then we can rotate objects around. And this works in the 3D viewport and in the 2D viewports as well. The scale tool allows us to resize objects. And this even works in the 3D viewport. You just hover near the edge that you want to grab And at all times, we can grab all six faces. So if we want, we can do all of our editing in the 3D viewport, or we can use four, uh, four viewport layout like this, whichever you feel more comfortable with. Now brushes can also be edited on a per vertex basis. And this works just by grabbing an edge and moving it. Or we can grab a single vertex. In this case we're grabbing two because we're we have uh, we're in the 2D viewport but if we just want to grab one we can do that really easily. If we want to apply a material to a brush we just drag it onto the object like that. Now if we select the face editing tool we can select a single face of a CSG brush and when we do that we can adjust its texturing properties. We can adjust the scale here and make the texture appear bigger. And we can also add an offset to it if we want. And just shift it over. We can rotate it. And we can also use this as a geometry editing tool. If we just grab this tab in the center of the face there, then we can move the face geometry back and forth and add shearing to the object that way. Finally, the Train Editing button uh, enables the Train tools, but this is best saved for its own video. Another really important feature of CSG brushes is Boolean operations. Let's say I've got my floor here, and I want to put a hole in it. 
Well, I can just create another box here. And place it where I want. And go up to Tools and select the Carve menu. And it will just carve out that section of the object. You can also make an object hollow. Let's give it some height here. And then select the hollow button. And now we have a room. If I want to put a window in here, that's easy to do. Move it up a little bit and we'll make two windows. Select Tools, Carve, and now delete the original object. And now we have our windows.